Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to Quick Tech Solutions. I know this isn't the usual way that I start my videos, and that's because I had to break down my studio for the holidays and haven't had a chance to put it back together yet. However, I did purchase the 8-port Unify PoE 150W switch. Now, I'm not going to take you through the whole unboxing of this device. I mean, it does come with the switch, the power cord, quick start guide, mounting brackets, and mounting hardware. I'm hoping in this video just to do a quick setup and see if I can get it adopted to my Unify controller. Let's take a closer look, though, at the ports on the front of the unit. You have a total of 10 ports. Eight are auto-sensing PoE and PoE Plus ports. You have two SFP ports. You also can configure the gigabit ports to 24 volt passive uh, PoE if needed. So that's what I'm hoping to do. I want to run a couple of uh, ubiquity cameras um, and things like that, some access points. I also may use a few different manufacturers IP phones as well. So let's see if we can get this baby set up on my Unify controller. Okay, so I have the Unify switch powered up and plugged into my edge switch. Now this is the first time that I've actually set up one of these Unify switches. I'm usually used to using the EdgeMax line of products, the Edge routers and the Edge switches. So uh, this is a first for me and uh, hopefully everything will go well. So what I have on my screen is the Ubiquity Device Discovery Tool, which is just simply a Chrome plugin. I happen to be a fan of Chrome. If you go to the Chrome Web Store and just search for Ubiquity Device Discovery Tool, you'll be able to install it into your Chrome browser as well. It makes life just a bit easier. So as you can see, the discovery tool found my router and my current edge switch. I'm not going to see the actual Unify switch until I come up over here and click on the Unify family. And now you can see it did find the Unify Switch 8 PoE 150, and it gave it a DHCP address of 192.167.25.183. So what I need to do now is get this switch adopted to my Unify controller, which happens to be an AWS um, Amazon uh, Web Service controller. So my controller is out in the cloud, so I'm going to click on Action. And I have to tell it the U uniform URL for my controller. So typically, that's either an IP address of the controller, or it could be a fully qualified domain name. So I'm going to put in my address so that the device can get out to my controller. Okay, so I entered my username and password in the device discovery tool, and I'm back in my Unify controller, and I should see the new Unify switch pop up in the list of clients eventually. And there it is. And you can see the device name is just the MAC address. There's the same DHCP address that was assigned by my DHCP controller. And now, it's pending adoption. So what I'm going to do is hit adopt. So it seems to be just hanging in the adopting stage. So let's go back to the Ubiquity device discovery tool and set the uniform URL the second time. Okay, now let's go back into the Unify controller. And let's refresh and see if that made a difference. And now it did. It's provisioning. So there you go. You do have to do the discovery tool process twice. So just a few seconds more, and this should be provisioned and give me a connected status. Okay, so there we go. Um, the device is now connected to the Unify controller. There is an upgrade, but I'm not going to do that now. But what I do want to do now is give it a user-friendly name and also change its IP address to a static IP. So I'm going to click on the device and come over to Configuration. And where it says Alias, I can give it a user-friendly name. So I'm just going to call it Unify 8 Port PoE Switch. And save. And now you can see it has the name that I gave it. And I'm also going to come down to Networks and VLANs. And instead of saying using DHCP, I want to give it a static IP. And I'm going to give it the IP of 
I'm going to give it a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. I'm going to give it a gateway of 192.167.25.1. And I'm going to give it some public DNS. And Q changes and apply changes. And that's it for now. We got the Unify 8 port PoE switch adopted to the Cloud Unify controller successfully. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I hope you found it useful. If you'd like to see more, subscribe to my channel and put any comments you have down in the comment section. I'll be happy to hear from you and answer as many as I can. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. See you next time.